This is Mossman Park Station. Before we head into the station, I just wanted to make sure that you go green and buy this magnificent electric car perfectly advertised on the big billboard outside the station. Okay, now, I wanted to say that there's actually two bus stops here on either side of the road which serve two routes, the 103 and the circle route, 998 and 909, depending on the side of the road. So there is a nice bus transfer to this station, but it's not an interchange, so it's not marked as a bus interchange on the carriage maps. Here's the one of the bus, 28-29, passing by. Now we can go into the bathroom. Here is the entrance from Sterling Highway, where you go up the staircase across the zebra crossing along the small car park with an access road on a steep incline from the main road right there. And then it takes you right up onto platform 2 after another small set of stairs, which is the one for Fremantle. And there's an information and ticket machine right here. The next train to Fremantle departs in five minutes. The train stops all stations. The station has two side platforms, with platform 1 having multiple entrances. I mean platform 2, but platform 1 only having one. There's a little open station smart order processor here next to the bush. Looks quite strange facing directly towards the bush. And here's another ex access point onto the car park. That's it on platform 2. It's got nothing because it's just another hut station. So let's take a quick look inside the hut. A little marker on the floor. This is stay off the tracks. Yeah, just got seating, a defibrillator, and sanitizer. And then on the other side, it's exactly the same. Just that it's got some special type of seating, a dedicated emergency point, and some more seating outside the hut. So, here there was another open station spider processor, as you just saw, and some more seating on this platform as well. But, that's it for this station. Down on the northern side of the platform, because on this part of the Fremantle line, the line's not going west anymore, is a pedestrian maze to cross between the platforms, as well as another exit out into the car park, with a station sign being right there, and a cute little coffee shop in a perfect position. Get a coffee before you head to the city for work. And lots of big conifer trees. Perfect for magpie swooping right now. Mm. I feared animal. Let's cross the pedestrian maze now. A nice reminder here to stay off the tracks. I don't know why there's so many reminders about that at this station in particular. A quick bit of history. The station originally got passenger services on the 1st of March 1894, exactly 15 years after this line originally opened. The station was called Cottesloe Beach Station at that time because it is actually pretty close to Cottesloe Beach. might actually be a quicker walk from here than it is from the Cottesloe station, if you want to go to the southern part of the beach. And then in 1896, the station got a station master, and the name was changed to Buckland Hill in 1931, before it changed to Mossman Park in 1937, as the local government area was being renamed multiple times. Just to the west of the platforms, there used to be a freight line which ran from Cottesloe to the Leighton Marshalling Yard. Here we are now looking at the Platform 1 shelter with the PSP on the right hand side and the strange seating design. Let's do another peek now into the wet damp bush like we did at Mainland Station to give the station rating of hem <laughs> 1 star. Just another bad hot station with limited facilities and a pedestrian maze that seems to be so risky that they need multiple warnings to stay off the tracks. Nothing to leave this station 
with a higher rating than the minimum.